I now invite Dr. Brenda Austin Smith, Professor and Department Head for English Theater, Film and Media, to share more about their department and the wonderful things you can learn. Thank you. Thanks, Brenda. I have to unmute. Always forget. Um, Welcome everybody. Uh, I'm Brenda Austin Smith and I'm the head of uh, English Theatre, Film and Media. We're one uh, department with three elements, three um, internally interesting, attractive uh, programs. And all three of our programs, English Theatre and Film, make use of media, which is why we have media in our name. So I'm gonna talk about generally, give you an overview of these three programs. So the main program that people might know about is an English program. We have an English major, English minor, and English honors. And for everybody interested in taking at least one English course, you should know that there are many paths to take to get into our second year courses. If you're interested in pursuing English, everybody needs to take either English 1340 and 1400 together or English 1200 in order to get into that space of the second year. English 1200 is a course called Representative English Works, uh, Literary Works. And what it does is it's a six credit hour course, begins in September, ends in April, and it takes you on a tour of world literature in English. You get a chance to read poetry, drama, short stories, a novel or two, and discuss them and learn about genres and forms, and you look for those patterns. And English 1200 is really designed for people who are interested in majoring in English or actually taking a, an honors degree. If you are more of a dabbler and you're not really sure how you feel about English Lit, but you want to give it a try, try English 1340, which is a three credit hour course, um, delving into genres, again, poetry, prose, some drama, or English 1400, which is a thematic approach to literature. Uh, themes, war and peace, um, families, love and hate, life and death. Uh, so these are the kinds of themes that people and our instructors will take up in those courses. So once you get through the first year course and you're interested perhaps in taking some more courses in English, I just put on this slide some of the titles of some very cool courses that we're running this year. We have a course in, uh, called Beyond High Fantasy, all about science fiction taught from actually an historical perspective. So looking at science fiction and fantasy in uh, various forms, various genres. We also have uh, a course that we offer quite often in the graphic novel. We have um, unusual approaches to Shakespeare, Shakespeare in race, Shakespeare in gender, Shakespeare unsettled, like a, an uncomfortable Shakespeare. We always offer courses in medieval literature if you're interested in stories of Arthur. Um, so you'll get that material from us. We also have a course this year, Territory and Language and in Indigenous Literatures. We often partner and, and share uh, resources, information, and occasionally courses with Native Studies. Uh, so we're very attentive to um, that particular subject. We also have an ongoing uh, core course in film and literature, if you're interested in adaptation. So that's really it for the overview of English. We also have a theater program, and our theater program offers a major and a minor, an advanced major, and the academic calendar, which is all online, will give you more information about exactly how many courses you need to take in order to achieve your major, your minor, or your advanced major. So in theater, we give you both historical uh, courses in drama and practical experience in theater. Everybody needs needs to take Theatre 1220 as that stepping stone. That gets you in the door of the theatre, um, the theatre world. So that's an introductory course. Everybody takes it who's interested in theatre, and then you move on. So cool courses this year in theatre, 
uh, include eco-critical theater, which we're offering for the first time, the way that climate change issues and issues of sustainability are manifest on the stage and in the texts of plays. But we always have courses in theatrical techniques, how to act, how to direct, uh, text in performance, how to read a dramatic text and understand how the body turns into an instrument um, used to sort of communicate and express that art. Uh, this year, we're also offering a course in political theater and a course in women in theater, the history of women in theater. And of course, in the early, early stages of um, theater in the Western world, women were not allowed to be on stage at many points in the history of theatrical production. So that's a really interesting course to take. So I think we'll move on from there. Um, uh, our, our final, uh, but no means uh, lesser program is the film program. Uh, again, part of our larger English department. And this program, like the other ones, engages more than just film. We have courses in television, where we analyze television. We have courses in screenwriting. Um, for the film major, the advanced major, and the film minor, you need to take Film 1290 and Film 1310. 1290 is one of my favorite courses to teach. It's an introduction to film studies. We watch films and we talk about film as an art. How does it express itself? How we, are, we talk about more than plot, by the way. We talk about acting styles. We talk about the effect of light on an image. We talk about color, costume, makeup, gesture, and how all these things communicate. Film 1310 is a history course, but it's fabulous because it teaches you about Japanese um, film and Italian film and French film and all the different movements like German expressionism and film noir that you encounter. Once you take those two courses, you can advance and take more of our cool courses at the second and third year level in film studies. This year, we're offering science fiction film. Uh, we have a whole course on Alfred Hitchcock and his relationship to other filmmakers and other art movements. We always offer a course in introductory filmmaking. We teach you how to use a camera, a digital camera, and make your own film that will be online this year. So we'll teach you how to do that. We also have a course in documentary film and a course in the popular cinema and the popular film course is very popular, as you can imagine. So these are some of the cool courses we're offering this year. So people often ask, you know, what can I do with a degree in film or theater or, you know, or, or English? And my answer is anything. You are limited only by your imagination. We teach you oral and written communication skills. You learn how to research. You learn how to analyze texts for pattern and meaning. You learn how to synthesize various sources and put together critical and persuasive documents. You learn about critical thinking and problem solving. And people often wonder what critical thinking is. And it means bringing resources of, of reason to bear on the materials that are given to you. So you learn how to sort things into what's false, what's true, what's better, what's worse. We also give you technical skills, for example, in acting, directing theater, making your own films, and you learn how to work in teams. So you're going to be learning that remotely, but there will still be an opportunity to do group work, and teamwork in that kind of distributed way, as Heidi uh, mentioned early on in this presentation. And there are some unique opportunities connected with our department. Every year, usually every year, we put on theater program productions, big main stage productions. They too will be a bit different this year. Students will probably be doing those online. Um, English film and theater students have an undergraduate association of like-minded uh, students, or at least like interested students, and you can join uh, that student's association, make friends, come up with opportunities for socializing and activities. We also have a media lab that's usually open. It's um, not open in the same way this year because of COVID, but the Media Lab does provide opportunities for 
post-production film work um, and those kinds of, of, of workshops. And we're also affiliated uh, through the, uh, the Center for Creative Writing and Oral Culture with writing workshops. And we ourselves offer creative writing courses in English. So the, all of these opportunities and many more are available to you. So do consider consider taking more courses with us and look at the possibilities for your future. These are just some of the concrete things that you could do with a background in English, theatre, film and media. But as I say, you're limited only by your imagination and uh, we look forward to, to working with you, learning with you, teaching with you and creating with you. Thank you very much.